What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Brandy and you're watching The Glam Bell and today we are talking about lashes. Not just any lashes, we are talking about individual lashes and how to apply them to yourself. I know it seems like a daunting task, but it's really not as difficult as it sounds and it's something that can definitely be done very easily with a little bit of practice. I'm not talking about permanent lashes or lashes that last you six weeks. What I'm talking about is just your normal everyday lash application using the regular duo glue or whatever type of glue you like to use. This is the same kind of glue that I would use for a strip lash, but instead of a strip lash, I'm going to be going in with individual lashes. This is my absolute all-time favorite kind of lash. It gives the most natural effect on the eyes. You can build them up as much as you want or you can make them look as natural as you want and you can put the placement wherever you want. There's just so much that you can do with these kind of lashes. And the other reason that I wanna do this is Honestly, because I did have lash extensions, I had them for about six weeks, but because we were quarantined, I wasn't even able to go for my very first fill-in. So my lashes are shorter than what they normally are. So I figured what better way to just add a little volume, add a tiny bit of length, than going in with individual lashes. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I do this. And of course, if you're not subscribed to my channel already, please go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Make sure to hit the bell so that you're notified when I I upload videos here on YouTube and if you're interested in learning how to do individual lashes on your own eyeballs then just keep watching the things that you will need are individual lashes they have a bunch of different ones the Ardell individuals are my favorite to use and I like using the packs that come with short medium and long that way you have an array of sizes I use the duo glue and I'm going in with I think this one is the dark tone I do like to do this once I've already put on a layer of mascara so you can put on whatever mascara you want you don't have to put on mascara this is just how I like to do it you will also need a mirror and I like to use a magnifying mirror so I use them this is the most dirtiest mirror ever and we are going to get up close and personal because we are talking about the eyeballs so I'm gonna scoot y'all in as close as possible I'm having a little bit of a not so good skin day not so good makeup day but it's not about that this is literally about the lashes so let's stay focused on the lashes and um, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that we are going to do is go ahead and get our lashes out. Go ahead and take them out of the pack. I kind of pulled the pack back like this to expose the lashes and then I will just start pulling them off and putting them on the back of my hand. This way they are already ready to go and I don't have to full with them trying to get them out of the case. You're gonna put a little bit of each, the short, the medium, and the long. I always joke with my clients because this literally looks like I have little spiders on the back of my hand. It just makes it a lot more convenient. And now I'm gonna take a little bit of the duo glue, put a dot of that on the back of my hand. And then you will need a pair of tweezers because you're gonna use the tweezers to place them on your eye. What I like to do is wait about probably 20 seconds or so for the glue to start to get a little bit tacky. You don't want it to get completely dry because it's gonna take you a little bit to get all of the lashes on. You can always put more on the back of your hand if it does dry too quickly. I like to take the magnifying side of my mirror and kind of angle it down. I like to kind of look down in the mirror. I like to start on the outer corner. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with a medium lash, holding it like this with my tweezers. And then I'm literally gonna take a dot just like that of the glue. While I'm looking down, I'm going to place that on the outer part of the eye on top of the lash. So I'm actually gluing it to the lash and then I'm just gonna continue doing that, taking another one, dipping it, and then placing that on the outer part of the while I'm sitting here editing, I wanted to make it very clear that I realized quickly how difficult it is to do individual lashes with a big mirror while recording yourself, so I did have to go in with a smaller mirror. The lash. Yeah, so I actually feel like it's easier uh, using the smaller mirror, and unfortunately, I don't have a magnifying side to this, but we're just going to make it work. And I'm going to take one of the large ones, one of the large lashes, 
I'm gonna put that on the corner. And what I feel like makes these look really natural is when you start to layer them and kind of crisscross them, it gives a very, very natural effect to the lashes. And when I set the lash down on my eye, I do kind of like push it into place. And you can even use your hand to kind of wiggle it around to exactly where you want it. See, like this one is a little crooked and I'm just going to take my tweezers and take it back off. That way I can get a better hold on it and then pop it back on where I want it. It definitely makes it easier once the glue is a little bit tacky so that the lash is not sliding around. Taking another long one and putting that on the outer corner. Now I'm gonna start placing some of these short lashes towards the front. And I kind of look to see what I have going on and then gauge how much I still need to do. I'm gonna do one more right in that very inner corner. I really want that outer corner to kind of flare out a little bit. So here we have one eye done. This was a super quick application. I could keep going in with more lashes and make it look super full. I kind of want it to still look a little bit more on the natural side, but just like an enhanced version of my natural lash. This is obviously without and then with. It definitely makes a huge difference in my opinion. I just think that it adds such a nice like lift to the eyes, lift to the face. You don't even need liner. You could add some mascara after uh, you apply these if you want them to look darker and more dramatic. You really can sleep in these and as long as you're not like sleeping on your face, typically these will last a few days. I mean, I've had clients that have worn these up to a week before uh, without them coming off. Because this is just the regular duo glue, they're very easy to get off as well. A Little bit of soap and water and they just pop right off. I'm gonna quickly go and do the other eye and we'll be back to see the final result. <laughs> Place, I like to go in with this little tool right here, which I usually use for strip lashes. I like to pinch together the individual lashes with my natural lashes just to make sure that they are nice and secure. If you notice that you have any glue spots that need to come off, use a little uh, spoolie like this and it will get it right off. And once again, you can go in with mascara if you want just to kind of marry your lashes with the false lashes. I just like to kind of wiggle it right at the base. I don't like to coat the entire false lash. And there you have it. There is your individual lashes that you did yourself. The best part about these lashes is that there is no lash band. They're literally on top of your lashes. So there's no lash band showing. It literally looks like your lashes, but better. I definitely did not learn to do these overnight. It took me a few tries. It took me a little bit of practice, but I promise if you practice, on yourself you will get it and don't get frustrated if you place the lash and it doesn't go on at first pop it back off and then try it again keep trying until you get it right this is a very individualized process it's however you like your lashes if you like your lashes shorter then use all short if you like your lashes all medium length then use medium 
or you can do like me and have a more tapered lash and use the short, medium, and long lashes. Sorry, I have a fingernail missing. Um, not the most ideal finger either. That is how I do my individual lashes. I really hope this helps you guys if you've been wanting to kind of play around with lashes and figure it out. It's really not as difficult and intimidating as it seems. It just takes a little bit of practice. So I love you guys. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see you in my next one. Peace out.